people ask, you know, what have we learned over the years? And I think a couple things come to my mind. One, that the clients have got to always stay at the center of what we do and really be the center of attention. And the second thing is, uh, you know, we've got to continue to, com- to compete in our strengths, really stick to our knitting, do what we do and not try to get outside of that. I agree. And, and I think um, also learned that uh, you know, clients really appreciate our commitment to each search. We've learned that. And we've also learned that a, um, a search that's really kind of rooted in transparency and integrity uh, is very important. I think that's been a great learning lesson the past 20 years as well. Integrity and transparency, transparency. always wins. Craig, as you think about the past 20 years, uh, what challenges have you seen with Buffkin Baker and maybe a little bit more broadly with the executive search industry? You know, there's a, a few things that come to mind. I think the first, we, we're blessed to have a lot of great partners working in the firm. That's right. um, we haven't batted a thousand uh, in that regard. We've had a few that have come and gone and they just weren't the right fit. So learning what that looked like was an important piece of our growth. Uh, we made some missteps early on. Um, I think as we've um, grown geographically, we've gone to one office to, to five, you know, maintaining the culture has really been a challenge. Uh, and we still work on that today, I think, um, in a large way. And I think the, the third thing is we have, as you, as you try to grow as a boutique, you sometimes take on assignments that you shouldn't. And we've learned, I think, to really stick to our knitting. And we've made some mistakes in the past where we you know, stretched a bit. Um, we got it done, but we, di- we didn't get it done well. And, uh, and that's been helpful for us to learn, have, learn those mistakes and, and make that happen. And I think learning how to s- sell the firm and to do it with a, really with a genuineness that we know what we were, we're good at and saying no to things that we're not. Um, in the industry, uh, lots changed in 20 years. I think the first decade of that, the large firms really had a leg up on boutiques. In the last decade, technology really has leveled the playing field. We have access to all of the same um, uh, prospects. And frankly, in the last four or five years, the larger companies, they've, they've really gravitated towards boutiques that really know their space well. We're never going to compete in the Fortune 250, but you know we've been able to really get some great large clients over the years, um, over the last four or five years. I think because of some of that change in the industry. Were you about to start talking about maybe some areas outside of our core? Yeah, I think we've learned a lot when we have tried to pitch things that are, aren't in our core uh, strength, and. We've learned we win when we stick to our knitting and when we stick to what we do very well.